Well, let's have a look at how pathetic the uh, political leaders can be at times like this. First of all, we'll start with uh, the moment when Julia Gillard hosted the uh, three independents in her office. Hey, Tony, how are you? What have you done with Bob? Yeah. That's really how you go. Hello, I'm well, thank you. I have taken the liberty of preparing a folder about what our uh, policies and plans mean for your individual electorates. So uh, thank you very please much. feel free Some to take that with you. Some light reading. Some light reading. Some light reading. <laughs> <laughs> Put those folders together just by the by. Yes. Her office or treasury. Like or... Uh, that, yes. that, that, that was, yes, that was not a good start, was it? When you're, you're trying to say, oh, we're not going to be pork barrelling, but this is what we've done <laughs> in terms okay. of the barrelling so far. When it was Tony Abbott's turn, uh, this is what he had to say to the boys from the bush. This is the great, the great advantage of living on the coast is that you do actually get access to the beach. I mean, I, I love the bush, and uh, every time I go to the country area, I think this is fantastic. But unless there's ready access to the beach, I think I get a bit frustrated. Surely they could have been just a little more subtle than, yeah. than all of that. Uh, now, I, I talked to uh, both, both um, Tonys about the, uh, the attitude towards the, the Nationals and, of course, uh, where, where the Nationals got off to a really bad start was on election night when Barnaby Joyce came face-to-face -face with Tony Windsor. Here it is. I, I would absolutely take no notice of what Barnaby Joyce's advice and voice would answer Tony's answer. It's a crucial, it's a crucial, it's a crucial, it's a crucial it's a like question, question Tony, and, and you should give a straight answer. Would you support a Labor government, yes or no? Give a straight answer, uh, mate. Uh, well, I don't, I don't have to talk to you, Barnaby. You can't give one, I, I'll refer to my people and make... You're uh, not up to straight uh, answer, uh, mate. I like the bit that came straight after that where Michael Kroger was trying to backpedal at 100 miles an hour and say how much, you know, they respected the independents and didn't expect them to give a straight answer straight away. Yeah. The, the, the irony about the, the Nationals is that they have long had representation in a coalition ministry way above their strength in numbers and their representation in the bush. And the coalition agreement has been farcical for, for many a term because of that misrepresentation. And um, the, the Bob Catters and the Tony Windsors of this world are people that uh, that regional and rural areas are, are turning to. And, um, you know, mm. maybe, the, maybe the upshot of all this might be a reassessment by the Coalition of the Coalition Agreement also, just the same as the Greens and Labor need to look at whether or not there's a possibility of some sort of formal alliance there. So.